Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emery Hunt, the Zarda Playbook. I'm Tyler Merkovich. Monday Night Football, it's an AFC West rivalry. Denver, undefeated at 5-0. Big upset win against New England, against San Diego, who got called out by their general manager, A.J. Smith. Two weeks prepare for Josh McDaniels' squad. Is Denver too high is the question. What are their keys to victory against, which is always a good matchup, Chargers? Keys to victory for Denver, You, I, I love their balance. They have to continue to have that offensive balance with Moreno and those two receivers in Royal and Marshall and Scheffler at the tight end. They have to continue that balance. That's the, that's why they're 5-0. and They're playing really good offensive football. Two, defensively, you want to get after Phillip Rivers. He's a sitting target. That's gonna. There's some question marks with that, that Chargers offensive line. So you want to get after that guy pressure him, force him to some errant throws into that talented secondary that they have with Bailey and Dawkins back there as well. So you want to get after him. Two, they have to make sure they protect up front because, like you said, being called out by the general manager, the Chargers want to come after the quarterback and put Orton out of the game and show their general manager they can come out and play hard and play strong on defense. So they're going to have to protect up front. They're going to see a lot of blitzes, more so than they've seen any time this year. Those are the keys to victory for the Broncos. Their defense, their front seven with that 3-4 really needs to get physical, and their secondary needs to shape up. Can't be getting P.I. calls all over the uh, field. You got their best corner, Antonio Cromarty. He's getting, he got numerous uh, P.I. calls against Pittsburgh. That can't happen. Quentin Jammer needs to shape up. Eric Weddle in that, in that safety spot. So they really need to get physical. But what are their keys to victory? If North Turner loses this one... San Diego is going to be in trouble. Keys to victory for San Diego, number one, you have to get that running game going. With LT and Sproles, they have to get the running game. Otherwise, Denver, you know Denver wants to come after the quarterback. You slow down that pass rush by developing that running game. Two, they're going to have to chip or double-team Elvis Dumerville because he is a terror coming off the end. He's going to give that offensive line fits all day if they can't get an extra body on him, whether it be a tight end or the running back, shit before he goes out in the route, that's going to have to, they're going to have to slow him down to get himself a shot in the passing game. Third, the Chargers are going to have to take their shots deep with the big, they have big bodies out there in wide receivers, so take your shots deep. I know Rivers loves to go deep, but you take your shots deep, you loosen up that coverage, then you'll be able to hit your, your gates underneath and your strolls underneath. It work deep to short in the passing game. I like the Chargers in this game. They had two weeks to prepare. For the Broncos, they're going to try to make a commitment to the run. And you don't want to be called out by your general manager. So that defense with Sean Merriman and company is going to come out ready to play. I like the, I like the Chargers. A.J. Smith matchup. did it for a reason. He light, He's lighting some firecrackers under their butts. They're going to wake up. Two weeks of repair. Don't get it twisted, though. Denver's here to stay. Right. I think they got 10-11 wins locked up. But this matchup, San Diego, desperation mode, Monday Night Football, and Rivers' weapons are there. Vincent Jackson, Chambers needs to come around, but he got Antonio Gates also. So I'm going to go with the Chargers. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.